the US and China are embroiled in a rumbling trade war. But where does that leave Europe? Beijing's long-term economic strategy passes through the Belt and Road Initiative. This trillion euro project is bringing China closer to Europe through the development of ports, railways and pipelines for oil and gas. Chinese money is pouring into Europe in almost every sector. For three months, Investigate Europe's reporters travel the continent, from Valencia in Spain to the Arctic port of Kitkines. What we found is not always what you might expect. EU officials often publicly express concerns over China's growing influence. The European Commission itself has labelled China as a systemic rival. But at the same time, it was the Commission that pressed member states to privatise key assets, playing into China's hands. The consequence? Vital infrastructure, such as the port of Piraeus in Greece and the electricity grid in Portugal, ended up controlled by Chinese interests. When Investigate Europe's journalists reported from more than a dozen countries, we found that many local business people, politicians and workers see China's growing influence not as a threat, but as a blessing. Even unions seem happy, given that Chinese investors so far seem to have played by European labour rules. Due to direct or indirect pressure, it appears that Europe's stance regarding human rights abuses under the Chinese government is being affected. For instance, the Dalai Lama, once a frequent invitee for European governments, hasn't met any high-ranking European officials since 2015. Beijing is planning to bypass conventional trade routes by linking China to Europe via the Arctic Circle, taking advantage of the melting of the ice caps which is being driven by climate change. This has the potential to turn Europe's tradeways upside down, and in the process to irreversibly damage one of the world's last great wildernesses.